you're this perp back with another video and i just got done checking out the final two episodes of bear town season one and this is going to be the last two episodes of the series so if you haven't seen it warning for spoilers but if you don't care you know what i'm saying i appreciate you tuning in make sure you hit that like button subscribe follow me on twitter at perp 420 now like i said this is going to be like a dual review where I'm just going to talk about the last two episodes, episode four and five. You can check out my first reviews on the first three episodes on my channel. I definitely have been enjoying this whole entire series. With all that being said, let's get right into it because, man, these last two episodes were very emotional they're very deep heavy and just it kept me on the edge of my seat the whole time so episode four let's start with that that picks up right after episode three of course with the whole aftermath of kevin getting arrested and the team's kind of all over the place because peter's not there he's the coach he's the head coach and they're in the middle of the finals the championship game and they're kind of hopeless at this moment and this is where benji that's kevin's best friend you know i haven't really mentioned him that much but he kind of takes the reins of being that captain and getting the the team motivated he either he even goes to the other locker room and beats up some of the dudes you know what i'm saying to gotta get in their heads man they played one hell of a game but they ended up losing but benji definitely put on a show he definitely did his best that he could but it wasn't good enough he was even playing with a injured ankle that thing was swollen this is where more problems erupt within the town itself and you could just tell that the town really doesn't care about what happened to peter's daughter a lot of people just think around town that she's some type of whore um that she's making it up all they really care about is hockey winning a game we'll get back to that throughout this uh whole entire review but that falls back on peter because now people think that peter intentionally pretty much sabotaged them winning which is really fucked up if you really think about it that here you have a bunch of townspeople that really like i said don't care about nothing but playing hockey they want to just win this means a lot to their town you could compare this to any kind of small town in america you know what i'm saying because there's definitely townships and cities that really take sports serious that it's a part of their culture it's part of their lifestyle and this this was crazy and shots to ahmed ahmed he's like one of the newer characters that we've seen he is the only one that really knows exactly what went on at that party so before we get into that though that plays a bigger part into episode five we get this interesting back and forth this conversation between kevin and his father this is in episode four this is very telling of what type of character that kevin's dad is because he's sitting there trying to make it right with his son but he's not right with himself and we find out that a similar incident happened back when he was younger and he kind of let it slip out and come to find out he did the same thing to his mom and it was so well told like you could just tell by the look of kevin's mom's face that she was kind of kind of disgusted in kevin because she's like you're just like your father 
and shouts to the actor that plays kevin because kevin he doesn't want to own up to it but you could tell that it, the guilt is eating away at him he can't really focus his his rhythm when he's uh trying to play hockey is off so it's taking effect on everybody even benji you know he's getting emotional about losing the whole town is kind of fucked up and they blame peter now you have pretty much kevin telling his father that there was only one person that saw them at the party and that was ahmed so kevin's dad tries to bribe ahmed to kind of keep his mouth shut give him hush money and this was kind of fucked up because ahmed kind of looked at this situation like yeah this could be really good for my family getting a scholarship and you know you, you could see the guilt kind kind of eating away at him as well and that just goes to show you that this is this is pretty crazy um that maya has to kind of go through this you have anna her friend that she met here that is really trying to keep her mind off the bullshit by like even taking away her phone but once she gets her phone she sees like how nasty people are on social media they're they wishing her death and wishing she would just go kill herself or something like that like it's it's really fucked up man that this town doesn't care about a human being like that they just care about hockey so much it's 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 kind of disgusting but like i said the, the performances all throughout were really dope through the fourth episode so now let's get to episode five the last episode the conclusion of this whole entire series this was definitely i think a very interesting episode watching it play out going through all these different emotions with these characters you have even peter kind of questioning himself and questioning his daughter about the whole situation it's kind of tearing his family apart from the inside out it's it's really hard to see and you even have some teammates pull up to his house to kind of threaten him they even go as far as throwing a brick or a rock through maya's little brother's room and this is where things get personal you you see tensions just rising maya does a great job in this episode because she doesn't say much but you could just tell by her body language that she's pissed off and she's at a boiling point they have a meeting um with kevin's dad and all the people of the club this has been going on since episode four that they're trying to kind of just get kevin out of there get him fired so they have this meeting and this meeting was very important to just everything that's going on with this show and it really exposes a lot of people in the town as well this is where as this meeting is going on to figure out what they're going to do with peter and his job as the coach of the of the team ahmed finally kind of just it's it's through with it he's through with the lies and everything he is the first one that kind of kind of steps up and gives the money back that was given to him by kevin's dad and said i don't want your money and that doesn't look good on kevin's dad's part and just nothing it doesn't doesn't look good on the town period and Ahmed definitely has to pay the price for that because some of the teammates come together and beat the living shit out of him to the point they put him in the hospital. And I think his name was Bobo. That was the one that kind of actually was saying like, nah, this is wrong. And he got his ass whooped too and he got his ass put into the hospital as well. So just when you thought things were looking up for Maya and her family, you know, Maya's mom gets the call that they're dropping the case altogether and this is where you realize that the whole town is kind of corrupt in a way so there was no justice for maya at this point but then we finally kind of see maya and 
why she had that gun in the at the end of the first episode and what happened between her and Kevin. So she takes the gun out of uh she gets the gun from Anna's uh dad's little case or whatever and she realizes that this man Kevin's on a run so he pulls she pulls up on him just starts chasing her with the gun this leads you know Kevin's dad and Peter to kind of hop in the car to go find them and we finally find out exactly what happened between Maya and Kevin and did Kevin get shot not exactly they come face to face with each other and Maya pulls the trigger but doesn't shoot Kevin but just scares him to the point where he pisses his pants and that's kind of all she wanted she wanted to kind of make him confess even though he kind of confessed to his dad saying like yeah I did it and he finally owns up to his uh his mistake that he did what he did was fucked up and you know you saw how many people it was driving away even his best friend you know his best friend was telling him like look I'm not the one that you need to apologize to you need to go apologize to Maya you need to make things right with her even though you took something for her, from her that she'll probably never get back you know that's always going to carry with her throughout her whole entire life but essentially that's how it ends you know everybody goes their separate ways things between kevin and his father aren't good at all you know we don't really get that resolution um but she does definitely get some resolve resolvement throughout this whole back and forth with kevin she kind of can smile again um it was a really emotional scene where you see peter looking at the box of his youngest son's stuff and i don't think they ever explain exactly how he died but um it's it's really interesting it has me i have some theories it's it's interesting um i'm wondering if the little brother is actually the one that died and it's just a ghost i don't know that's probably i'm probably way off with that uh but they had a younger son that passed away don't know exactly why but that whole scene of them just looking at the boxes of his stuff was really sad but it brought them back together they decided to leave bear town for good reason because everybody in bear town is kind of suspect anyways uh, a lot of talk a lot to talk about a lot to go through i hope i got through all the more important parts of these episodes i know this is a pretty lengthy video i appreciate whoever watches this and has gotten to this point i appreciate your time i enjoyed this series it was a really cool five episode series it sucks they couldn't make like 10 episodes we could really flesh out some of the, these other characters but they got pretty straight to the point that's all I have to say about this whole entire series. Till next time, see you later. Peace.